<coughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh, what are we doing? All right. Okay. We've got, we've got a beer. We've got a beer to do today. Uh, it's Vocation Love and Hate New England IPA. Uh, who, who fucking knows what this tastes like? I don't know. Do you? Uh, all right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we've got a pretty cool label. We've got like Cupid firing some, some shit. An arrow, heart arrow at this tiger. And the tiger kind of looks like it's got flames and it's a big V and Cupid's kind of in the flames as well. Uh, yeah, cool font, bro. Love and hate New England IPA. It's fucking 7.2% and we're gonna, we're gonna chug this bad boy today. Um, apparently it's juicy, hard hitting and hazy. And um, it's probably how I'm gonna feel after I drink this, I guess. Uh, what's this shit? Uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, love and hate. Forget crystal clear beers with delicate flavor profiles. Our juicy and unapologetically murky New England IPA is made to leave a lasting impression. Traditionalists will hate it, but to us it's the one. Uh, all right, I'm not not too sure about this. Uh, juicy, hard hearing and hazy again. Yeah. And, uh, an authentic Vermont yeast strain <laughs> and a big dose of oats work together with plenty of dry hops to create stunning aromas and a silky smooth finish. And then it's got some trademark Citra and Galaxy. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what this, what's that? I don't know. That's you. Um... Right, your beer, our vocation, blah, blah, blah. Breweries are just another fancy, fa another factory making a product. It's our people and their passion that make this our vocation. Fuck, man, how many times do they say vocation on this? It's just everywhere. Uh, vocationbrewery.com, don't go there. Store cool, drink fresh, yes, pour carefully, main contained sediment. Cool. Uh, this is the, the fun stuff. Brewed and canned by Vocation Brewery Limited, Crags Count Country Business Park, New Road, uh, Cragvale. I want to live there. Hebden Bridge, HX seven five TT. A uh, bunch of ingredients and allergens. We got malted barley, wheat, oats. All right, that's it. Barley, wheat, and oats. Cool. Anything else? Nah, probably some water. Right. Yeah, all right. Some other stuff, yeah. Can't pronounce any of this. Some Japanese, that's pretty cool. Uh, suitable for vegans, yeah, I guess that's all right. Metal recycles forever, yeah. Some other stuff here. Uh, the pregnancy warning, yeah. Drink, baby, bad. Uh, don't drink and drive, I guess. Uh... 7.2% alcohol, 440 mils, pretty big boy, big girthy boy. Um, back to the beginning. Uh, let's read the barcode. Oh shit, a rare boy. 5060435600331. I bet you've never seen that before. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you could scan that, I guess. Uh, right. Let's let's open it. I've got my very professional solid gold drinking glass here. Very solid, very gold. And we'll we'll open this together. If I can open it. And we'll just listen to the ASMR. Oh. Not too not too foamy in there. Uh let's give this a smell. Oh, that is what does it say on the, the label? Some some shit juicy. It smell. It actually does. Oh shit! I'm gonna spill it. I'm gonna spill it. We haven't had any yet. It is juicy, hard hitting, and hazy. I'd agree with that. It's not very frothy. Uh, we should probably drink this now. It's been like almost five minutes, and we haven't done shit. Fuck you. Right. We'll just pour it into the solid gold drink. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I said it wasn't frothy. It's actually mad fucking frothy. 
I can't tilt this to the camera or it'll fall over. But as you can see, it's it's very frothy. Um, so I, I guess we can talk about its color and its smell. Um, it's very browny, golden, muddy. Kind of looks like piss, to be honest. Looks like piss, morning piss. Uh, yeah, let's give it a, a smell. Yeah, hitting the back of the nose, very floral. Uh, I don't know, it's, I guess it smells like floral beer. It's, it's, it's beer, it smells like beer. Um, it's pretty good. Holding it in this solid gold drinking glass is pretty cool as well. You can't see through it. Like, even with the flash on, it's like, it's like if you left a fish tank for a really long time and it just had like this piss, fish piss and shit in it. Um, so that's pretty cool. We like that. We like that here on Untitled. We'll pour a bit more in. Kind of cutting through the head. It's a pretty, it's a pretty heady boy. Pretty heady boy. But the head is starting to settle and we are going to get in and taste it. Oh shit. Good God. That's awful. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's beer. That's really, really fucking floral. I kind of feel like took a beer and then like put a bunch of flowers in it and then came back the next day and drank it. Um, but what else can I say about it? It's very strong. Um, like this thing's going to get you wankered. So if you need to get wankered, um, this would definitely do the job. We just got to keep topping up a solid gold drinking glass. Oh, so, so strong. So floral. Um, yeah, I mean, it's beer. It's it's definitely that. Um, it's nice to have beer on a Friday. Um, and look at this weird logo. It's, it's, it's a big V. What, what is that? Why? Can't have anything to do with the name vocation, that's for sure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's been like an hour and it's still heady as fuck. Um, it's still not really settling. Uh, and it is a bit sedimenty. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm going to drink a bit more. So I'm finding as I drink more, it's starting to grow on me a bit. Probably couldn't have any more than one or two of these. It's all right. If it was really hot outside, and this is all you had, you know, this, uh, you know, piss, you'd probably take this, you'd probably take this over the piss, it's pretty good. Considering that here on Untitled, we don't, we don't give out stars lightly, it's got to be good. That little fat lamb, that shit's amazing. Uh, yeah, all right, I think we've, I think we've reached that point where we're probably going to have to, probably going to have to chug this now. Um, all right. <sighs> Woo! Uh, yeah, that wasn't nice. That wasn't pleasant uh, at all. I've changed my mind back. This is fucking awful. Um, better check what score it has. Um, it has, it's got a score of 3.2. That's a pretty high score, to be honest. Um, I know here on Untitled, you might be used to seeing Australian scores. And they might be a bit bigger. I'm not too sure. I can't really remember. Uh, but 3.2 score is pretty high. Um, if I was going to give it an actual score uh, out of 10, uh, probably probably zero. That was pretty awful, uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really know what else to say about this. Um, it was a beer. We drank it together. We went on the journey. Uh, it's definitely sometimes a bit more about the journey than it is actually drinking the beer. Uh, in this case, it definitely was more about the journey because the, the beer was fucking 
awful. Um, but that's all right. Uh, I think we're going to wrap that up there. Uh, fuck yeah.